everybody, this is Juan, finally back again with another review. And today I'm bringing you a review of the Toys R Us exclusive Deluxe Class Rodimus Minor, or Major. I forgot, didn't look at the package that well. But anyways, because I know him as Hot Rod, as many of you do as well. Anyways, let me get on with the review. Hot Rod here is this very, 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 very nice alternate mode of his former G1 self. And I know I said very a lot because, you know, I'm very excited that this figure actually came out. You know, I saw him at uh, my Toys R Us, like, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. Barely opened them. Decided to make a review, you know, just for you guys. But anyways, his alt mode is very, very accurate to the show. He has these nice, clean, you know, designs to him. These nice lines that go all around. Very fluid. You know, it actually looks like he can go really fast. The details here are pretty good. I mean, he does have his little engine block here. And he does kind of have these flames, I guess you could say. They're not really flames. They're just more of a decal that's just been put on there does have an Autobot insignia there. does have the giant fin, like he used to. Except it's not yellow, it's more of this bronze kind of color. does have the pipes here. And, you know, there's a little illusion leading to the pipes actually going all the way down here. He does have these really weird looking wheels. But they're pretty cool. I mean, he can roll really nicely. What else can I say about this figure? And it's pretty nice. I mean, the alt mode is very, very effective. You can't kind of see his face in there in the blue translucent plastic, which I really like this plastic, I have no idea why, it's very mesmerizing. But anyways, you fold, uh, you put, um, turn them around and you kind of see the robot mode all folded up. Um, very ingenious how they did this too. It does have a weapon, which is this crossbow kind of weapon. You can attach to the vehicle mode. Basically you have these two little pegs right here, these two little ports at the bottom. What you want to do is you want to attach it there. And I'm trying to do this without firing the missile. There we go. Oops. There you go. Just kind of fiddle with it a little bit. And, you know, it looks cool and all. I mean, it is effective. And you can't fire the missiles like here so. There we go. They can fire a good distance, but, you know, I just like to leave them in there. There we go. And it's cool now, but really, it's, um, if you're going to display them in this vehicle mode, it's like this. This, you can kind of put it aside or next to them or something. I don't know. Pretend it's a flyer. Use your imagination. These are toys after all. Anyways, um, transformation is really intricate, but at the same time very simple. So overall it's fun, which is a good thing. Because the last thing you want in a figure is to be frustrated when you're trying to play with it. And or pose it, whatever your definition for these things are. Anyways, what you want to do is you want to come up here and undo these sections from the rear. And this came off the ball joint, but there's no big problem. It will do that. But anyways, you just want to come here, undo this like so. And beyond these hinges that allow lots of clearance for the rest of the transformation. What you want to do is come down to the bottom and undo these feet from the bottom of the hood. Which is pretty cool how they did this. It actually like looks flush with the whole vehicle. And then what you want to do is you want to come here. And you want to slide these outwards like so. They're on these pegs that kind of go under this little piece here. Same thing on either side. See if this one will do it. This one always gives me a little bit of trouble for some reason. There we go. And what you want to do is you want to fold these all the way back. And it clips back in for some reason. And what you want to do is you want to rotate this 180 degrees. And there you got his waist and his legs. What you want to do with the legs, um, you want to just clip these into place here. Uh, very simple how you do this. You mean basically, I mean, they're all crooked like this. And you just push them towards this little edge right here and it clips into place very nicely and what you want to do is you want to fold these up it doesn't really add much to the whole transformation but it's pretty cool that they did this it gives them a more complete robot mode but anyways what you want to do is you want to come back here and let me just move the camera up there we go and what you want to do is you want to fold this back this little piece here which will reveal his head, which will allow all this to move up. But while you're doing that, you have to, you see this Autobot insignia down here? You have to push that forward, and it should rotate, and it'll give him his Autobot insignia there. And once you're done doing that, you fold in the wheels, which will allow all this to fold down like so. And when you do that, once you complete with that, you fold this back, and it should clip into place. If you don't clip this into place, this will be very loose and it will flop all over the place. 
and what you want to do is you want to fold these up and there's a little peg here which will connect to the little groove down here at the bottom and there you go you hear it snap there we go that means it connected well then you want to rotate these and fold out the hands and then what you want to do is you want to come back here and just fold all of this up and there you got hot rod which is he's one of the coolest robot modes I have seen in the animated line thanks for some really other for some really cool ones um, basically he is 100% accurate to the animation model I mean really everything that you see here was basically the same thing that, it, that he was in the show for like the first what three episodes of the third season I think yeah but anyway so when you rotate him 360 you can see all around that he doesn't really have kibble I mean everything that was the car has been incorporated into the robot mode so well that it just gives him his character, uh, just his characteristic of you know him being hot rod. That kind of didn't make any sense, but I'm gonna stick with that because really I am very excited that this toy was actually released and that I was actually able to pick up one because people love to buy multiples of these in my area for some freaking reason. But anyways, yeah, I have a scalping problem here in my area. I'm pretty sure other people do too. But anyways. He's really good. I mean, he has good articulation. He can rotate 360 on both sides. And that came out. I don't know why, but this one's a bit loose. I'm pretty sure not many people have that problem. There you go. This can rotate 360. Uh, the thing kind of gets in the way. He can move this up and down. He has a ball joint here and a, and a hinge here as well. So it kind of gives him a double jointed elbow. He does have a ball joint and a hinge at the hand. I'm just going to go along with that. It adds to articulation. He does have a ball joint here at the hip, so he can move all this around. He does have a, a joint here at the knee, so he can bend them, and he does have a ball joint at the foot. But it's kind of weird because when you do it all the way down, it kind of goes out at an angle because that's just a transformation. Anyways, he does ha also have a waist joint, which he can rotate. But anywho, his weapon can be added very easily. What you want to do is you want to just get this little bar here in the middle and then just swing it inwards like so and it clicks into place there's no problem with that I mean he either way with it on or and or off he still looks pretty cool and you can do some okay poses with this I mean there's it's not at, at a really high level where you can do some really intricate you know bow and arrow poses but you just gotta pretend that he does have a string there and this is where the ball joint and the, and the hinge here come into play really well when you're trying to do these kind of poses because it'll actually look like he's actually aiming at something um, this is about the best I can do at this moment but yeah he's still pretty cool there we go when you rotate him he does have this cool effect even the face is really cool let me move this out the way you see the light piping very well done here all of these anime figures have the best light piping out of any toy line I've ever seen Aside from G2 when they started doing this. But anyways, you can kind of see little pupils in there. I don't know if you can see them as well. But anyways, all this is very flush. It's very well done. If you can find this guy at your Toys R Us, he is in the same wave as Ironhide because he's the only two new animated figures to be released. But anyways, I highly recommend this figure. And really, don't pass this guy up. You really got to get this guy. It'll actually complete your collection of animated figures. But anyways, this is Juan back again with another review. And I'll catch you guys next time.